If you don't know what song that is, something went wrong in your childhood. You probably shouldn't have been listening to that music when you were a child anyway, but I did. And uh, I love it still to this day. ACDC shook me all night long. Back in Black album. Um, I've been on an ACDC kick for my entire life since the day I started listening to them when I was around seven or eight. One of my favorite bands of all time. Easy. So just some more music on the Thomas Take Sports podcast. Back again. And I kind of preface this statement about this part of the Thomas Take and another part of the Thomas Take today, but I'm going to be talking about a lot of fantasy football uh, topics without giving too much information away. I got a championship that I need to defend. I need to be the first repeat champion in my fantasy football league, the Lockport Fantasy Football League, and uh, this is my third championship I'm coming off of in as many as five uh, seasons, so very exciting stuff to say that, yes, I'm the champ. I'm going to defend my my title. I got the team so far to do it keepers-wise, and I want to add to my team and make it as best as possible so I can go undefeated and undisputed in 2017 and win my fourth title in six seasons. But I'm going to give you guys one fantasy tip, okay? One fantasy tip so far in the offseason based on the offseason moves that have been made so far. Um, do not draft Jamal Charles, do not draft Marshawn Lynch, and do not draft Adrian Peterson. Because these three veteran running backs, post the age of 30, are not what they once were. That's that's a safe assessment. I don't want to count out Adrian Peterson. I'm not saying that these guys are bums. But what I'm saying is there are plenty other alternatives in a fantasy football draft to go after, especially at the running back position. The running back position is one of the deeper positions in fantasy uh, now compared to previous seasons. I don't necessarily like the fits of Adrian Peterson to the Saints. I don't know how that is going to work for his fantasy value. I don't understand the fit of Jamal Charles in Denver in terms of fantasy value. And of the three, I'm willing to say that the best fit is obviously Marshawn Lynch heading to the Oakland Raiders. Uh, Obviously, he wants to play there. He wants to win there. He wants to play well there. Uh, And I think that that is great and everything. That's that's a cute storyline and everything like that. But let's keep in mind, he did take a year off. Who knows what he was doing in that year? I don't know if he ever planned on coming back. This could have been a spur-of-the-moment opportunity for him, which I think it was. And Marshawn Lynch might not be in the best shape compared to what he was in with the Seattle Seahawks uh, and the Buffalo Bills. So only time will tell, but in my estimation, I don't anticipate that I I will take any of these running backs uh, in in Charles, AP, and Lynch. And and to be honest, you know, two of these three running backs are – Actually, all three of these running backs were responsible for past fantasy championships that I have won. Uh, in 2012, with Adrian Peterson and Marshawn Lynch, I had them both on my team. And in 2014, I had Jamal Charles uh, on my team. So two championships that I've had out of the three championships that I've won, uh, I had these three running backs uh, on my team. They were great running backs uh, at one point, but... There are plenty of other alternatives that make more fantasy sense for you than taking a uh, Jamal Charles, a Adrian Peterson, or a Marshawn Lynch. I'm in a keeper league. I'm in a league that has 10, uh, 10 teams. I'm one of those 10 teams. We have three keepers this year, uh, and obviously one of my keepers is going to be Ezekiel Elliott, who was a catalyst for my team that I acquired uh, via trade uh, last season, and I'm going to keep him this year. Very happy about that. And I would not support Ezekiel Elliott, my number one running back, one of the three best running backs in the NFL outside of David Johnson and Le'Veon Bell, just to take a veteran running back too. It would make no sense at all. Uh, not something that I'm interested in doing, um, and it would not complement my running back one to where I need him to be. So that is just out of the realm of possibility. I won't tell you who you should draft, 
but I will tell you who you should stay away from. And uh, Marshawn Lynch, Jamal Charles, and Adrian Peterson are three guys that I'm not going to take the chance on. There, there are other alternatives out there that make more sense fantasy-wise based on their team fit and based on the way they will be used. I know more about how they will be used in comparison to, let's just say, Jamal Charles and Adrian Peterson. Lynch is definitely going to be used. Lynch is the running back one of the Oakland Raiders right now. So I, I would I would assume that he's going to be used heavily in comparison to AP and uh, Jamal Charles. So it's definitely two of these fits just don't make much sense. And one of the fits, I have questions about the shape that Marshawn Lynch will be in heading into uh, the 2017 season. Yes, they call him beast mode and everything like that. But that was when he was playing in succession. He took a year off. I don't know if he's going to be in the the right shape that he needs to be in for the long haul of the 2017 season. Plus, you have to look at who the Oakland Raiders play. The Raiders play twice a year the best defense in the NFL, in my eyes, in Denver, in the Denver Broncos. Um, That's not a conducive matchup for my squad. I'm I'm looking at, at good matchups clear results, uh, guys that can come in on my fantasy team and contribute in nearly every matchup and matchups that they are heavily used, um, like Le'Veon Bells and and the Ezekiel Elliott's. So obviously you're not going to get Le'Veon Bell and Ezekiel Elliott on one fantasy team this year, but you know, you're going to have to find out who's that number two running back on your team. Um, One could say that I already know who that running back two is on my team, and that is Jay Ajayi, who I will also be keeping this year. So you want to go over the top? You want to get that third guy, possibly, in your flex slot, or put Ajayi in your flex slot and and put a running back there at running back two um, that, that is not of a veteran pedigree, a guy that is... You know, somewhat in his prime, a guy that brings more to the table. And there are so many different players in this year's uh, fantasy draft that I'm looking at right now, and I'm just like, why are they ranked so high? And you know that there's going to be one team that is going to reach for Marshawn Lynch, and it's going to be a huge mistake for them. You know that there's going to be a team that reaches for Adrian Peterson just on name value alone, uh, just to have a shiny name on the on the on the uh, roster sheet. But that's not my way of winning. So um, take it from me, guy that has won three fantasy football championships. I've lost two finals. At least I made it there. Um, And I'm in the championship almost every year. So take it from me. I'm either winning the championship or I'm in the championship. So take it from somebody that knows. um, You know, last year I was in the MFST League and I was doing really well. And then my team just kind of got hurt and imploded. And, And there's those situations as well. But I won 10 weeks last year in the MFST League and... You know, it was it was a very solid season that I had. So there's a lot to build off of there. And uh, take it from me: do not take Jamal Charles, do not take AP, and do not take Marshawn Lynch. It's not worth the investment. The only one that I would consider putting in an investment on is Marshawn Lynch. And there are other running backs, more than maybe ten running backs, that I would I would rather have than Marshawn Lynch. So take care, guys. That was the quick last edition of the Thomas Take Sports Podcast today. Uh, Very excited to uh, see the success of this show continue to grow. If you want to follow me, follow me uh, on the Facebook page, the Thomas Take Sports Podcast. You can also follow me on Twitter at Thomas Takeover. Uh, Like the Thomas Take Sports Podcast Facebook page and subscribe to the Thomas Take Sports Podcast YouTube channel. Thank you, guys, and take care. Have a great day.